Even from a distance, the signs of distress are visible. Moving closer, the desperate situation becomes more vivid. On a World Vision organized trip for journalists, VOA witnessed the devastating impact of the ongoing drought in Kenya's northern frontier. With livelihoods diminished, families here have been left to survive on inedible berries known as edung in Turkana. The drought came and killed all our livestock that we used to depend on. Now we have been left with nothing. All we can eat are these wild berries. Lokoki Mart must cook the berries for three days to make them edible and reduce their harm to the body. Residents say it gives the children diarrhea, but it helps them survive. The mother provides for her five young children because her husband is sick and unable to help. Epakan Ekiru, a 19-year-old mother of two, lives a few steps away. Her husband left two years ago with the herd to look for pasture and water. She's afraid the wild berries will run out. For now, we're eating these wild berries. If they run out, we'll die. There will be nothing else to eat. Kenya declared drought a national disaster in September 2021, with nearly 3.5 million people at risk of acute hunger and in need of humanitarian assistance. That includes more than half of the population in Marsabit County, according to government figures. Children and women are the most affected. Officials say sometimes the government's food relief and cash transfers to the most vulnerable are not enough. I've had cases where people come to my to their offices. They stay put even if there is no relief food from the government. You have to go back into your pocket and give them something so that they go back home and buy something to eat. The soaring food prices resulting from Russia's invasion of Ukraine have affected humanitarian aid operations, making the situation even worse. In the community we visited, ideally they should be getting 100% of their rations. But by now, because they are pipeline breaks of commodities, because of the shortages created, we could only give them you know, 55% of their food. For residents of Purapul village, the nearest health center is over 60 kilometers away. Twice a month, the aid group World Vision helps severely malnourished children and pregnant women. Officials say many can no longer afford to make the trip themselves as the drought has claimed their livestock, their only source of income. Drought is not new to this region, but experts say as climate change accelerates the intensity and frequency of drought and events like Russia's war in Ukraine worsen the problem, many worry the hunger crisis in East Africa will be forgotten. Juma, Majanga for VOA News, Loyangalani, Marsabit, Kenya.